uh, Kung Fu Panda Tree last year. Hmm, it got positive reviews, didn't it? Hmm. So, what is it? We have two successful films that we put effort into, and we have put care into, we put heart into, we put effort into them. And how about we release How to Train Your Dragon 3? Nah, screw that. Let's push that back to 2019. Are you sure? Because it might cause a few controversy. I don't care. Let's release the Boss Baby. Uh, that looks pretty bad. It's my studio, and I'll release whatever I want. Okay, Jesus, Jesus, okay, sheesh. I think I know what was going through the studio's head at the moment. Roll the intro! <laughs> DreamWorks. This is your follow-up to a successful masterpiece. The Boss Baby is about when Tim made me gets his new baby brother. Him and the baby brother, or I'm gonna call the boss baby, hate each other. So they, so he tries to get rid of them. They come up with a deal and try to get babies as much love as they used to. And they try to get, so they can get rid of each other. And the plan goes. <sighs> can I just say, this is just a stupid plot. You know what I mean? The story is stupid. They put little to no effort, little to no heart, little to no emotion to making this film. Okay, let's look at their other films. Kung Fu Panda, A Panda Learning Kung Fu, How to Train Your Dragon, um, Vikings Riding Dragons. But they're, those films, okay, Kung Fu Panda and How to Train Your Dragon, are successful. In fact, they're now big franchises. And I mean huge. Okay. Instead of getting How to Train Your Dragon 3, they're putting, this is what they're putting their time into. The animation, okay, unlike Shrek the Third, the animation's at least decent. But way too cartoony. The facials look really weird. Now, KFP3's animation was perfection. The backgrounds. Grounds. They're even realistic. But no, we don't get anything like that. We get the boss baby. Or should I say, trash baby. This movie was so bad. I just want to say, oh, by the way, happy Easter again. You know what I mean? That's that time of year. The Lord has risen. Okay, back to the review. The characters. They kind of put in a bit of effort, but come on, DreamWorks, a little bit. As for the music, there's none. I'm not joking. It's just them talking. Which makes it stupid. Stupid! Okay, the ending. Okay, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's going to get you emotional. But it's not one bit. If you're looking for an emotional scene, watch the scene where Poe finds out about the near genocide in Kung Fu Panda 2. That scene made me cry. That scene is tears. A tear joker. And worst of, and best of all, Kung Fu Panda 2, a way better film. In fact, best sequel I've ever watched, along with KFP3 and HTTYD2. And best film of 2011. Okay. And they're probably going to make a Netflix series out of this. Guess what? I don't care. We're not going to get a Netflix show out of Kung Fu Panda. That's why I give this film a 1 out of 10. This film is a tied with Shrek the Third as their worst film. And what that gets? The seal of rubbish. I suffered through this movie. You know? Suffered. 
Also, I do want to say one thing. It makes Trolls actually pretty decent. It, I'm not joking. Even though last year that wasn't very good. Anyways, goodbye, Skadoosh. I really despise this horrible film.